Hi guys, Sarah here. So I have some really exciting news for you. Uh, no, it's not that I'm in my kitchen again, <laughs> but uh, we are doing the Fluid Art Boutique again this October 8th, 9th, and 10th, and we're gonna be in sunny, beautiful Delray Beach, Florida. We are going to be holding classes in what used to be the Cornell Art Museum at Old School Square in the heart of Delray Beach. So we're very excited about that. Our website will be going live in the next couple of days. We have an amazing artist lineup and we have Molly's Artistry, Erica Hughes, and Michelle Galley. We've got two Florida artists on there, so we're really excited. Uh, we also have the lovely set of four gals here. We have Cause Creations Art, also a Florida artist, part-time. We have Karen Durishan of Waterfall Acrylics and Mina Villegas and myself. So we are really looking forward to this. We're looking forward to meeting you. Please keep your eyes out on www.fluidartboutique.com dot com to sign up for classes and that those dates again in Delray Beach Florida are October 8th 9th and 10th so we totally are excited to be doing this again we want to see you there uh, it's gonna be a blast there's been a bunch of changes um, so yeah that's all I have to say about that there's my info Marshall uh, let's get on to today's pour we're gonna be utilizing or using a 20 by 20 inch canvas and also seven colors. Uh, yeah, seven, I had to count them again. Uh, so we'll be working with seven colors. We're gonna be doing a galaxy pour. This is one of the classes that I'll be teaching in Delray. And uh, you know, in the class, we'll give you a little uh, tips and tricks and a little secrets to the formulation that nobody knows yet. Uh, if you haven't already taken my class. So, all right guys, enjoy the video. <laughs> Bye. One more thing. Check out this apron. Joanne Ralston, thank you so much for it. If you guys are interested in personalized aprons, please see Joanne Ralston Art. She's on YouTube. She does these and uh, I love it because I am the paint ninja. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you soon. All right, we're back down onto the canvas. I have taped the back of my canvas as well as sprayed it with some water to tighten the canvas up. Sounds like a drum. Um, the colors we're going to use today, the seven colors I'm using are Pebeo's Iridescent, oh boy, blue, green. Nope, Iridescent Green Blue. Yeah, I always get it mixed up. So this is Pebeo's Iridescent Green Blue. We are also going to be using DecoArt's Coral. This is their Extreme Sheen Coral. I'm going to be using my favorite Arteza's Bordeaux Red. Now I am using most of these colors are leftover paints, so we're just utilizing what I got here. I want to use up the paints in my kitchen. I know it's been a while since I've been painting, but it's been a lot of work in the studio. Uh, so this one right here is Liquitex. I forget which one. It is. It's a violet. I'm so sorry, guys. Prism Violet. That's what it is. Liquitex Prism Violet. We also have DecoArt's 24K Gold Extreme Sheen. And I have a custom color here, it's so pretty. It's uh, a Prussian blue and I mixed it with another color. Hopefully you guys can see it. Oh, there we go. A little bit of iridescence going on there, but it's super pretty. And um, white, so my white is Artist Loft Flow, I'm sorry, Artist Loft Soft Body. I keep saying flow and I can't get that one anymore. Um, Mixed with Floetrol with uh, satin enamel in it. So we've got that right there. And I think what we're gonna do is layer up our cup first and foremost. We are doing a galaxy pour. All right, here we go. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of white in the bottom 
just a little bit. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of gold. And then I'm gonna come in with the blue mix that I made. Let's put some coral in there. Come in with a little bit of white. So I'm gonna try and not put red and white next to each other because, uh, well, we don't want pink per se. Nothing wrong with that. That's just not what I'm going with with this color sequence. And we're gonna come in immediately with the Pebeo Green Blue. I love that color by Pebeo. And then also come back in with my blue mixture. And then the 24K, we're gonna do white. I'm sorry, that's red. <laughs> I was thinking, don't do white. Uh, again, in coming in with the prism violet. Let's do, let's do some white on that one. Coral. Blue. Color here. And some gold. Let's do the prism violet. The red. I'm going to use all that up. There we go. Every little bit counts, and you can't really get the Bordeaux Red right now. They're sold out. I just talked to my Arteza rep. But with that being said, below is a coupon code and links to Arteza products that you guys can get at a discount. Um, I do make a little bit um, from your purchase, but every little bit for an artist really helps out. All right, maybe just do this. There we go. Okay, so we are done here. And they've got some really cool products that I will be uh, showing you guys. And I have two giveaways for our Arteza bundles coming up that I'm really looking forward to and I hope you guys uh, catch on. So here we are. We're gonna do a puddle right here. Uh, spread it out a bit. I see a chunk of something, so we're gonna get that before we go hog wild with. Come here. There we go. There. Um, before we start pouring the cup. All right, I'm gonna pull my sleeves up, try not to get any paint on my sweater. I did not change to paint. I'm still wearing nice clothes. So let's hope we don't get any on anything. All right, and we're going to go for it.
beautiful colors in here. All right, because there is something right here. I knew it. I just know it. You get my cat is giving herself a bath over there. She's so loud. All right, well, we'll wing it. We'll see how it does. All right, so something deep inside of me wants me to wreck this. Um, so I think I might. We're gonna give it a torch. Get rid of any of the air bubbles. Good. All right. We're going to come in with my smack stick. And uh, these are the final products we're going to hopefully have in Delray. We'll see how that works out. We're just gonna come in. I'm not worried about what's going on out here. Pop that bubble. Um, and let's see how we do. Yeeks. And I'm gonna just do this because that really is gonna end up looking like a fish. We'll see. There's a little bit of detail yeah. that might come out to play. I don't know. All right. I'm gonna put my flow extender around the edge. I have to say I was torn on wrecking it, but my gut told me to go with it. <clears throat> and when the gut tells me to go with it, I go with it. Just gonna get my corners to help the paint move. And then we're gonna get stretching out. We're gonna give it one more torch also. It's been sitting for a minute. A lot of times if you do all this stuff around your puddle, more air bubbles will pop up and uh, you want to make sure you pop those before you paint. All right, so that is that. I'll put it over here and we are going to be ready to roll. to this corner first. And back this way. We're just gonna open up these little leaves that I've created with the chopstick. And these leaves are the metallic coral by DecoArt. And they are gonna shine something pretty when this piece is all dry. I'm gonna just turn this for y'all and then we're gonna go back over here. I'm going right off that corner because I don't want this, you know, in a circular orientation. I'll bring it back to middle a bit. I'll go off over here. I'm really gonna wanna try and open up what's going on. So we're going to take it to each corner a couple of times. All right, we're going to come down here. So I'm just going to 
manually rotate this for you guys. Bringing it back to the middle. So when you see the bottom of the canvas, you know that's what I'm doing. The weight of the paint. I'm gonna come over here. And remember I wanted to stretch out the center where these leaves are or petals. And I'm gonna bring it back. And I'm kind of digging it. Well, I am, but you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna do this for now. And I'm gonna bring my hands over here, move that cup. I'm not 100% wild on what's going on here, so I kinda wanna just bring this off here. There's some beautiful cell action going on here that's kinda pretty in different colors. So, I am gonna go this way. Oh my lord. I need to put my um, pins back in. Just seems like a kind of muddy purple. But, but not at the same time. I just, I'm not wild about lavender, if that makes any sense. I think, I think Mina calls that a housewifey purple. She's so funny. And this, I don't know. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over this way in this area, kind of clean that up a bit. I think I can stretch it a little more without it getting too wonky. I'm gonna bring it back and down. I like that better. All right. We're gonna come off this way now, hopefully, without screwing anything up. Of course, I can't see off that corner, so Lord knows. Yeah, maybe a little more, there we go. And then we're gonna come back this way Sorry guys, I know you can't see everything that's going on, but I think that is going to be the final piece. I love this bright pink over here. Yes. All right, we're gonna take my gloves off because I do wanna do some wrapping up here. You're gonna clean off your edges. I'm gonna take a little bit of this paint here and bring it down. There's a little white mark right there. All right. So I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna bring you guys in in just a moment. All right, here we are. We're coming in for some movie magic. All right, so a couple of things I did do. I took some of the drippings out of the cup I did add this sweet little gold line here and then this coral line here just to make it pop a little bit. And in here there is a coral and blue one. Uh, so I thought that was really nice to bring in 
a little more. I really, really love the white area in this piece. And uh, the details are amazing. All those lines. That is a canvas I'll be painting over over there. And uh, this, these cells here were super pretty. I can't wait to see when they're dry. But yeah, I am happy girl. I love the little white splash in there. Very floral like. And uh, I think that's it. So minus the light overhead. Here we go. <laughs> Let me see if I can brighten this up a little bit so that you can, there, that might be a little too much, but anywho, this is what it is. And it turned out really, really pretty. These are beautiful pinks and blues, a little bit of a iridescent green blue in there. You just can't see it right now, but um, yeah. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Have a great day and keep your eye out for the Flu uh, Fluid Art Boutique website going live for ticket sales. You can book with Molly, Erica Hughes, Mina Villegas, Karen Derishin, myself, the lovely Kathleen Osmore, and Michelle Galley. So we have six Seven, seven artists line up this time around. We're going to be located in Delray Beach, Florida. I hope to meet you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.